Behold the two-handed sword that belonged to the Bavarian Prince Elector Maximilian II, 1689. Yeah, what's that requirements do you need to use it? Okay, based on the handle, I'm gonna say at least 20 points in strength, but at least if you two-hand it, you could probably start at like 10 or 15. And because it looks like a smaller, more aerodynamic blade, a dexterity of probably 12, and you know what, based on the bleeding benefits, maybe if you have some points in uh, in faith or anything like that, because it could be an occult weapon, that might get you some extra damage. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. I just had to commit an act of senseless violence to satisfy a primal urge in me that I do not understand and cannot resist. What were you saying before? I think Bo Burnham deserves hate. What? Why is that, Puckacho? Literally no reason. He seems like a genuinely nice guy. Okay, some of you are saying he isn't nice, some of you say he is, I don't care. This post isn't about Bo Burnham. It's about making people I don't know anything about suffer for no reason. Puckacho, what's your real name? Romaine. Why are you all believing this? That's lettuce. Hmm. I wish to go to a graveyard, one near a park during the night, and scream. Feel like that would be therapeutic. You're absolutely right. Andy, uh, put me in a graveyard. Uh, I'm gonna do some screaming for a second. Ah! 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 You live in an artificially constructed social order. I live in the wizard tower that I built illegally inside my head. Why would you have, like, zoning laws in your head? It's like a fish tank in there. Another weird thing about beer is that it has, like, weird masculinity connections to it. Yeah, I'll get a beer. I don't want one of them girly drinks. Like, okay, Jimothy, you're drinking wheat juice with 5% alcohol content, and my mixed fruity girly drink is 40% alcohol, and it tastes great. I, uh, I too hate the taste of barley soda. It's been a hot minute since I baked my weird bread. Mmm. Crabohydrates. I kind of feel like I need to go outside and be absorbed by fog or something. Become one with the creatures in the mist. Become the physical manifestation of the sound the highway makes in the distance. Be my own liminal space. Self-care, you know? Yeah, that does sound fun. Andy, you probably put a lot of work when you threw me in the graveyard. Just throw me into the fog. I'll figure shit out. Whee! Which is better? A dog with a backpack or a dog in a backpack? Clearly a dog with a backpack containing a smaller dog. True. And I actually googled this myself to see if it exists, and I bestow it upon you. Behold. Perfection. You know, I'd call you a fuckboy, but since I don't know your gender, I'm just gonna call you a fuck. Ah, the one true ally. Sorry, Mom and Dad. In my house, elbows on the table are mandatory. You can do whatever you want at your house, but as long as you're under my roof, you will wear your hat to dinner, Grandpa. I think people should have mascots. Mine would be a golden retriever wearing sunglasses and holding a beer. I have been informed this is called a fursona. We're sorry, your Salem Witch trial has expired. Please upgrade to a Salem Witch premium now. Ah, shit, I don't have 4 Fuck! A capybara among guinea pigs. The king rests among his citizens. All is well. Today I learned that the shortest marriage in recorded history was three minutes! On the way out of the courthouse, the bride tipped over and fell. Instead of helping her up, the groom called her stupid. On the spot, the bride insisted the magistrate annul the wedding, and the magistrate complied. Good for her. There's nothing worse than getting an email. Getting two emails. There's one thing worse than getting an email. I, I've got bad news about the cardinality of natural numbers. Oh, fuck. I hope this isn't a personal question, but what gender identity do you label yourself as? If any pre-existing one applies to you, I mean. Labels are for people who are good at making decisions. I am not one of them. Bro, oh my god. Vanilla extract. Vanilla extract smells wonderful, but tastes horrific on its own. But mixed with sugar and flour and cream, it tastes just like it smells. We need the support of others to reach our full potential! No man is an island. Everyone is vanilla extract. Back in the 1800s, you could just show up to a town and be like, I'm a wealthy prince, or I'm a doctor. And no one checked if you were lying. 
I was born in the wrong time, because in that madness, I would thrive. There is no discourse between Gen Z and Millennials. We're siblings. Now come on, little bro. I'll take you to AMC. Yeah, we can go there early and play the arcade games before the movie starts. Can I get popcorn and a drink to share? We sure can, buddy. We sure can. Remember when Tyler Cruz says, I throw my hands up in the air sometimes? I appreciated his restraint. You can't just throw your hands up in the air whenever. There's a time and a place. And that time was 2010, and that place was the club. Good on you, Tyre Cruz. So that sword in the last video is much bigger than it looks? Oh, 50 strength. Gotcha. Wow, was I wrong. Today I learned that Jack Black caused an earthquake in New Zealand while performing tribute because the crowd was bouncing so hard that it registered on the Richter scale. The power of Jack Black. I can mentally see his face when he learns they did this. <laughs> I can't do. I wonder what's happening right now over at Hogwarts. Probably education, since Harry doesn't go there anymore. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Pull up to the gay function and people are just dressed like this. Okay, but is it gay or is it archaeology? What if it's both? Mm. Reading comic books provides you with a level of tolerance for not knowing what the fuck someone is talking about and pressing on anyway. That is absolutely invaluable to the humanities, actually. Yeah. Combined faces of the top 1,800 MLB players. There he is. Joe Baseball. He's gonna do the sports thing. Playing Doom on a pregnancy tester. Why? Because. Doom Maternal. Oh, so Doom Guy's name is Gregdon. Yes, yes, blood for the blood god and all, but when you think about it, why would the blood god want blood? I mean, they're the blood god. Presumably they already have blood. You're giving them the one thing that, by definition, they already have in great supply. Yeah, I don't think you end up the blood god by saying, yeah, that seems like a reasonable amount of blood. Was gonna get McDonald's pancakes for lunch, but realized that's unhealthy and expensive, so instead I went home and now I'm making my own pancakes. It's not healthy, I just feel more smug about it. <laughs> I mean... I love how cats dilate their pupils to indicate it's time to be fucking stupid. I wish I could do that. Same. Andy, quick, poorly photoshop my eyeballs dilating. It's time to be dumb. Ben Affleck is one of those people who cannot work period dramas at all. He has the face that knows about emails. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why does it work? Girl, girl help. The popular fan and interpretation of my favorite character is stupid as fuck. Oh fuck, girl, let's get it! The Founding Fathers writing the Declaration of Independence. This is gonna make such a good Minecraft roleplay. Stop, stop, stop. I'ma need you to never ever say those words ever again. I mean, me. Hey, look, raw. That's Listen. Yeah, chef. Don't you dare. Comment again. Reality is crumbling. What is this account? I'm just a guy doing things, like sharing pictures of my cat, answering your questions, telling fun stories, stealing gender, struggling to comprehend the sheer magnitude of the universe. You know, huge. Something about transparent purple plastic makes the 90s kid in me react like an excited chimp. Me sees this. Yes, 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 yes! Are you a fisherman? Because I think you're a real catch. You spelled real wrong. Throw this one back in the water, boys. We got ourselves a city slicker. You guys realize that this scene means that a group of animators would have had to have asked themselves, okay, now how would a tortilla move? Reasons why I love Pixar. I asked my brother for a glass of water, and he brought me back a cup of ice and said, wait. <laughs> Good one. I'm not like other girls. I'm an evil wizard. And yet you don't have the URL. I'd cast a fireball at you if you were worth the spell slot. If I needed a theme blocked in URL to signal people that I'm an evil wizard, I would have quit out of shame already. Ha! Got him! NFTs are images you can buy and own with money that you- Shut up! Shut the fuck up! We already have DeviantArt adoptables. What the fuck are you on about? What are you reinventing? Adoptables that also fuck up the planet? Just shut up! I'm including a link to a DeviantArt profile with please in the name whose icon is a specific gif of an anime girl shaking her head in disgust at you. <sighs> yeah, about that. Andy, uh, that image I attached to this picture, uh, put it up at the Curb Your Enthusiasm music and go.
A movie where every scene takes place in America has a garish red and blue filter on it. At one point, there's an exterior shot of the White House, but the flagpole above the main entrance is flying the Canadian flag. This is never remarked upon. Later on, there's a scene where the American president, who is inexplicably wearing a Coast Guard dress uniform, gazes pensively out the Oval Office window, through which the Statue of Liberty is clearly visible in the middle distance. And then he turns to his desk, and it's a picture of Sonic and Shadow the Hedgehog. I am so kind to my mutuals. Sometimes I don't even block them, even though they put those men from Supernatural on my dash. Hey! A portly kind dad from Wisconsin trying psychedelics for the first time, and his best description is, Eh, they kind of make you think outside the bun, you know? A cute girl told me she has a lot of plants in her house, and I told her for some fucking reason, Damn, the oxygen at your house must be mad crisp! And somehow still got her number, so... Chase your dreams. Nothing is impossible, apparently. My theory is that people my age are like this because we were unintentionally brainwashed by the Windows Media Player visualizations. Don't know with what, but it had an effect. When programs fucking autocorrect more than three to heart emoji and colon parentheses to smile emoji, do you have any idea what you've just done? What you just fucking destroyed? Get in the Halloween spirit and make a ghost! Uh, that's called murder, and I heard somewhere that, that it was illegal. Hey, don't be a fucking downer. It's fucking Halloween. Go make a ghost. And I didn't end this on a scream, so... <clears throat> Gonna have to fix that. Andy, you can do whatever you like for the noise I'm about to conjure out of my mouth. Uh, it's entirely up to you. <laughs> All right, before we get started, I just want to say, I know I said more than in that last video when I should have said less than. I'm very sorry. It won't happen again. Please return my wife. I miss her very, very much. Please stop. Stop torturing me like this. Guys, it's just more than versus less than. Please. Mom's not home. You know what that means. Walks around the house talking to imaginary audience for three hours straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. URL changes don't affect me because I could recognize my mutuals by touch alone. By smell. I would know them blind. By the way, their breath came and their feet struck the earth. I would know them in death and at the end of the world. That's cool. I don't know who anyone is anymore. Time to get into new media. Sure hope I won't get unreasonably attached to a random fictional character. By Talos, this can't be happening. Penny Parker, otherwise known as the perfect woman. Snapcube, fanned up, soar into the Spider-Verse. Yes. Absolutely fascinated by this raw pixels on an emulator versus how the game was actually supposed to look on old TV's Twitter. Yeah, people say old games don't look as good as they remember. It's because they legitimately don't. The fuzz from CRT monitors was something that was definitely accounted for and taken advantage back in the day when it came to video games. While this effect is noticeable in 3D games, it's much more visible when it comes to 2D sprites. Look how much more depth these simple sprites from Princess Peach and Bowser from Super Mario RPG seem to have seen through the dots of a CRT TV screen. I somehow did not know this. One of the clearest examples of this is using the effects for transparent waterfalls in the Mega Drive Sonic games. Look at that. Perfection. Sorry, can't hang out. Too scared. So, what do you do for a living, 997? I try my best. Flat Bigfoot Theory. They never caught him on camera because he turns 90 degrees and becomes too thin to see. Flat Earth Theory is out. Flat Bigfoot Theory is in. This is the hottest take I've ever heard. Peter's spider sense would make him an absolute legend at Kahoot. Now, I'm not saying that MJ finds out Peter is Spider-Man because he's so good at Kahoot. I'm just saying that she's sure as heck going to figure out how the fuck he keeps on winning. Wait. The fuck's this? The fuck are these? We didn't have these. What dimension is this from? And do you ever seen these in your life? Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? What is that private pile? Bob Ross would have fucking loved Minecraft. 
It's your world where you can do anything you want. You can put anything you want in it. And you could put the happy little trees anywhere. This is the purest thing I have read today. And then he sees the fan base and decides to turn away. My life is fucking ruined. It's dark. It's dismal. There's no hope. There's no sign of land. There's nothing to live for. Shaking, crying, and screaming in my boots. Post canceled, my package showed up. Whoever made fucking Calibri the default font for Word, I just want to talk. You know, just talk. Have a nice little civil conversation. Just want to talk. Just want to talk. I just want to talk, you piece of shit! I hope no one low-key hates me. High-key hate me. Hate me with every fiber of your being. Go big or go home! Probably bad RPG idea. Your halfling PC must protect their town from the biggest threat they've ever faced. Band of lawyers from somewhere called the Shire with a cease and desist order. <laughs> okay, that's good. I can remember that one. Why is the Star Trek fandom so calm and collected and then the Star Wars fandom is like running by on fire constantly? Because one has Spock and the other has Anakin. <laughs> this is my favorite comment so far. Feeling extremely. This post was to have more words in it, but I think it can stand alone. Pocket Show, you're weird. In the grand scheme of weirdness, I am but a footnote. VeggieTales was nuts because sometimes I'll forget it was thinly veiled Christianity lessons, but then I'll see a clip that's like, and then the son of God was born. And I'm like, what? What was that, you fucking tomato? And then Larry just sings a silly song, like, Wait, cir circle back. <laughs> What'd you say? Before you dismiss yourself with, well, I'm used to it, consider that maybe you shouldn't have to be. Hey, where the fuck is the clown music covered from? You. <sighs> do you ever do anything except whine like a little bitch? Sometimes I whine like a big bitch. Fuck you. I swear, if the wizard doesn't let me out of his abandoned salt mine soon, I'm gonna fucking lose it! What did you do to be put in the salt mine? I may have eaten a special wizard meal, but I think he should let me out, to be honest. Was it good? Was it worth it? Are you able to bear the weight of your sin? I'm not gonna lie. It was fucking delicious. I'd fucking do it again. Oh, wait, shit, you're the fucking wizard in this guy, seeing if I learned my lesson, aren't you? Fuck! Ten years in the abandoned salt mine! The weird thing about having a Tumblr for so long is that every once in a while, someone will like a post of mine that I literally do not recall making, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And how'd this person find it? I await the day one of my dumb thoughts gets put into a PM Seymour video. Once in a lifetime moment, tell me a dumb thought right now. This is my moment. <clears throat> what if hummingbirds replaced mosquitoes? Look at that deadly beak. Could take more blood than a tiny bug ever could. God help us all that's so scientific, it's stupid, and I love it. God, I hope whatever bullshit happens next is funny. Well, only one way to find out. Andy, I'm not ending this on a scream. End it with the iconic reverb fart noise. And go.